Hi, this is Dr. Michael Wong, and I'm talking to you from the 2013 Clinical Oncology Meeting here in Chicago, known as ASCO. There's been some tremendous excitement in the area of melanoma. And in fact, the excitement started uh, before the meetings even started because uh, just a few days prior to the start of ASCO, the FDA approved two new drugs in the treatment of melanoma, uh, one called Jobatinib and the other one called Trimetinib, uh, are drugs which respectively target the uh, BRAF and the MEC uh, uh, proteins which are uh, responsible for making melanomas grow and basically become malignant. And uh, it's been a very interesting ASCO because the talks that uh, were here today uh, really uh, were trying to understand how to better use these drugs. Uh, and uh, one presentation uh, given by Jeff Sossman from Vanderbilt University looked at the use of these drugs together and singly, but importantly, in the population of people who had already failed one of the inhibitors of the BRAF pathway. And it turns out that uh, uh, the use of the combination, which we, we would intuitively think would be uh, more quote, powerful and able to uh, salvage patients that failed uh, just a single agent BRAF inhibitor, uh, it turns out that that combination really is not that effective in that situation. That was a bit of a disappointment. The other news that was uh, really uh, made us sit up and think is sort of the coming of age of a drug called GMCSF, or commercially known as Leukine. It's been around for a very long time. It's a growth factor that was used to stimulate the bone marrow. Uh, and, uh, and, and, but there's one thing it also does which is very interesting. It has the ability to stimulate the immune system as well. In fact, a part of the immune system, may, which may be responsible for recognizing uh, tumors as being foreign or uh, things that the body should get rid of. Uh, it turns out that the use of GMCSF with ipilimumab uh, gives rise to a uh, prolongation, at least in, in the early analysis, of uh, survival. So that's extremely interesting. Um, and a talk given by uh, uh, Howard Kaufman uh, about a vaccine uh, which expresses GMCSF, GMCSF is also very interesting. In this scenario, uh, what the vaccine does is that uh, upon injection into uh, tumor lesions, and so this is a trial where they took the vaccine, uh, which is, comprises a, um, a, a version of uh, a, a herpes simplex virus in which it was engineered to express the GMCSF. So when you take this, inject it into the melanoma lesions, and what happens is that um, uh, you have regression not just of that lesion which you've injected, but most interestingly, um, lesions which you did not inject. And in his presentation, he showed, in fact, liver metastases, which were remote and far away from the injection site, responding to and shrinking from the injection of this GMCSF. What it tells us is that this is a molecule which now has come to the forefront as one that's been very interesting. So that's really the, the sort of some of the groundbreaking things which are happening to, uh, today at ASCO. Um, uh, tomorrow on the Sunday session, there's going to be talks about the PD-1, uh, which is another uh, targeting pathway, which is very interesting, and I look forward to speaking to you about that later on.